the printer receives the data from the computer. It stores a certain amount of data in a buffer. Buffers are useful because they allow the computer to finish with the printing process quickly. As the clean cycle is complete, the printer is ready to begin printing. The control circuitry activates the peeper feed stepper motor. This engages the rollers which feed a sheet of paper from the tray into the printer. A small trigger mechanism in the feeder is depressed when there is paper in the tray. Once the paper is fed into the printer and positioned at the start of the page, the print head stepper motor uses this belt to move the print head assembly across the page. The motor pauses for the merest fraction of a second each time that the print head sprays dots of ink on the page and then moves a tiny bit before stopping again. Multiple dots are made at each stop. It sprays the CMYK colors in precise amounts to make any other color imaginable. At the end of each complete pass, the paper feed stepper motor advances the paper a fraction of an inch. Depending on the model, the print head is reset to the beginning side of the page. In most cases, it simply reverses direction and begins to move back across the page as it prints. The time it takes to print a page can vary widely from printer to printer. When the printing is complete, the print head is parked. The paper feed stepper motor spins the rollers to finish pushing the completed page into the output tray. Now let's see some awesome other components and its working. First is lids. Lids, it prevents dust and allows ink replacement and paper adjustment. Paper tray 1 and paper tray 2 holds pre-printed paper in straight position. In rear cover assembly, there are 6 rollers located on the cover which assist the paper movement inside of the printer. Upper and middle paper supporter which holds the printing paper in vertical direction. Front paper roller set is used to roll the paper out of the roller assembly. Another component is spring set which acts as a simple shock absorber for the interior supporter. Rear upper plate, it serves as a provider of opposite force on the springs against the interior paper supporter. It allows wirings to be attached. Paper feed sensor senses the paper right before printed. Rare paper roller assembly rolls the paper into the first stage of printing process. Lid sensor senses the opening and closing of the lid to trigger the movement of other interior components such as the ink cartridge. Main bracket holds major components in place including the brackets holding the motor and rear supporters. Primary chip board is responsible for the input, output and power signals. Power supply is for converting the voltage supplied by the power supply input from AC to DC. Inkjet cleaner unit keeps the head of the inkjet cartridge clean in between the operations to prevent the hardening of ink and jamming of the cartridge. Another part is paper roller encoder gear which is used to send information to an encoder so that the printer knows how far the paper has travelled inside the printer. Paper roller motor supplies the mechanical energy to the paper roller so that they can move. Inkjet cartridge cradle motor supplies mechanical energy to the inkjet cartridge cradle so that it can move. Rare paper roller assembly rolls the paper into the first stage of printing process. That's it for today. See you in the next session.